This is Rap the News. The Gentiles are looking for that blessed hope in Christ Jesus. And looking for that blessed hope, they're going to end up in the pit of hell. Genesis 125, we're going to start from the beginning and we're going to go to why they are looking for the blessed hope. You know, and we're going to talk about blessings. And God made the beast of the field after his kind, which we know is a Gentile. No spirit or no blessing. Created, no spirit, no blessing, but has a soul. Ezekiel 31, 6. And under his branches, who was that? The Assyrian. Did all the beasts of the field bring it forth their young? And under his shadow dwelt all the great nations. See? So the great nations were already here before the creation of mankind. Again, the beast of the field, which is what? The nations were already here before the creation of mankind. They are another species. They are not mankind. Genesis 126. And God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over all the earth where the great nations dwelt. I'll put this one in here, but this is what ha actually happened. So it's a history repeating itself. Second Chronicles 21, 8. The Edomites revolted from under the, the dominion of Judah. The Edomites revolted from under dominion. God gave mankind dominion. The Edomites, which is what? The beasts of the field, which is what? The great nations, which is what? Esau did what? Revolt from under our dominion. Why? I ain't bowing down to no nigga. They ain't ruling me. Okay, let's keep getting into it. Now, Genesis 3 1. The serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. So, the devil, Iblis, Satan, Lucifer, whatever y'all want to call him, the, the subtle serpent, he was a beast of the field. He was nothing but a white man. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, has God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And by that, he caused the fall a mankind into the misery so we all landed into misery on this earth hell is underneath this earth so we landed pretty much on top of hell right this is not our home okay and what happened to the, the, the satan after that god scolded him and threw him out but he just didn't throw him out and he just going about doing his own thing you know he did a lick in hell, him and the Gentiles. Revelations 21. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on that dragon, that old serpent. The serpent was more subtle, which is the devil and Satan, which is nothing but a beast of the field, a white man, and bound him a thousand years in hell. And cast him into the bottomless pit. Right. And shut him up. And set a seal upon him. That he should deceive the nations no more. Because what do you mean deceive the nations no more? They were all under his shadow. The great nations dwelt under the shadow of Satan. Till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose a little season. But it wasn't just him. It was him and them because he deceived them, right? And being deceived, they revolted from under the dominion of Adam, Judah, the black man, the Hebrew now. Daniel seven twelve. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away. Right? And they did what? They revolted from under the dominion of who he gave the dominion to. Who did he give the dominion to? 
Adam, man, mankind. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season. Revelation 11, 2. And I'm just putting them in, not in chronological order, but in an order where you can understand what's happening. But the court which is without the temple leave out. Why? You're not getting into the kingdom. And measure it not. You're not going to weigh on the scales. When you die, you're just going to go to hell. And it's because of the same reason. You will not bow down and submit to man who he created above you. That's all this thing is about. And the Gentiles are just trying to figure out a way around God's command to bow down to man and let man have dominion over them. You know, we're smarter. We have brains. We don't have to listen to God. And it's going to cost them their life in hell. For it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city of God shall they tread underfoot for 40 and 2 months. What is 42 months? It's the time Satan is going to be loose for a season. That's Satan's season. The lion blasphemy. You are your father the devil. He was a liar from the beginning, right? Revelation 13, 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, lies. And power was given unto him to continue for 40 and 2 months. So Satan must be loose for 40 and 2 months. The Gentiles shall be loose for 40 and 2 months. They all come as a package. They're still under the shadow of Satan. Right? They dwell under Satan's shadow. They are his children. Luke 21, 24. We, black men, Judah, Israel, will fall by the sword and be taken as prisoners into all the Gentile nations. Prisoners. You're taking the children of God, God's blessed children, as prisoners. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until their season is up, until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Yeah. Ezekiel thirty-one seventeen. They also went down into hell with him, letting you know that they, they reigned with Christ a thousand years in hell. Yeah, that's what that means. They also went down into hell with him that be slain with the sword, and they that were his arm, right, his army, that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. See? Dwelt under whose shadow? The Assyrian, Satan, the subtle serpent, the beast, Lucifer. Matthew 25, 41. Depart from me, you who are on the left. You are cursed into eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Satan and his arm, his army. Let's keep going. Zechariah 8, 13. And it shall come to pass that as you were a curse among the heathens, because you were created, it cursed them. That's, that's what, you know. Of the house of Judah and the house of Israel, so will I save you, and you shall be a blessing so what are we, Israel? A blessing. So watch this. Now our creation, Genesis 5, 2, male and female created he them. And, and he called us what? He blessed them and called us Adam. Their name's Adam. We are the children of Adam in the day when they were created. Male and female, we were blessed. Let me tell you something about the blessing, Israel. The blessing goes from the day you was born, the day you was created, the day you born, the day you you live, the day you die, all the way up until you get to God. There is a blessing that's followed you because when God said bless, God is eternal. God don't change. And, and that's just how it is. And when he say damned, you damned. You know, for however long he say you damned. Okay. Genesis 12, 3. So we got the verse, and that's the name of the title, Looking for the Blessed Hope. Genesis 12, 3. Here go the Blessed Hope. 
I will bless these Gentiles that bless you. Why? Because they're always revolting from under your dominion. They don't want to bow and submit. They were jealous of the creation of mankind. They hated you and they wanted to bring about your fall through sin. By making you rebel against God. When God forbid you the tree, they went to make you go eat of the tree. So they sent their best, Lucifer, to deceive you. Satan, whatever you want to call him. And curse is him that cursed thee. So they all decided to do what? Curse you. God said they all came together with one mind to damn you, to curse you, to make you no longer remembered as a nation, to wipe you out of the gene pool and the earth. You walking bewildered through the earth not knowing who the hell you are. You thinking you some damn African. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. They cannot be blessed unless they come through us. I say it again, Gentiles, you cannot be blessed until you say, well, I got a home and I got that. And what you got is temporary goods until you burn up with that. Your house and everything else is going to burn up. Enjoy your time for your season, Gentile. So you you guys get to, your life is prolonged. You live, that's what you call the life of this world. You are the life of this world. You live in for a season. When that season is up, you go straight to the pit. Unless you do what? You get the blessing through blessing Israel. Right? Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Blessed. Your salvation is everlasting. We don't need Jesus. We never did. That's all a lie and a fallacy to entertain Gentiles until they burn. Genesis 17, 7. And I will establish my covenant between me and you, black man, and your seed after thee, in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto you. Jesus ain't our God. He ain't our Lord and Savior. See how they want to make you accept that devil? Accept this devil as your Lord and Savior. That's the only way. Look, he's your God and he's your Savior. No, we already had a Lord. Our Lord God of Israel with an everlasting salvation. We don't need your Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You know, we had an everlasting covenant. We don't need no new covenant, no New Testament covenant. We don't need that because our covenant was already everlasting to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee forever. Okay. Jeremiah 31, 3. Yeah, I have loved you. Even though God is punishing us, he punishes whom he loves, you know, and he let them reign free. Yeah, I love thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. So he drawing you in right now through me and through people like me with his loving kindness. He could just beat the hell out of you and throw you in the pit with these Gentiles. But people like me is drawing you. Listen to the word. I've drawn you. What is what a drawn mean? Brought you in slowly. Oh, screw Raptor News. Let me get out of here. I don't like what he's saying. He trying to take our Jesus away. I ain't Jesus. You know what I mean? <laughs> Deuteronomy 32, 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, they're not us. They never have been us. They're not human. They are not mankind. They are not blessed. They don't have a spirit on them. 1 Corinthians 15, 39. All flesh is not the same. So even though we're in the flesh and they're in the flesh right now, these are not our bodies. You know, this, this is not who we really are. You know, but this is temporary for this earth. This is going to return back to the earth. But there is one kind of flesh of men, that's us, another flesh of beasts, that's them. We are two things. They are the beasts of the field and we are mankind, Adam. 1 Corinthians 15, 47. The first man is of the earth. That's the Gentile. He was made of the earth. He is earthly. That means he is flesh. The second man is of the Lord from heaven. That means what? We was put into the garden. Right? 
we was placed into the garden, we were elevated. We was given dominion. I have risen you or elevated you above the nations, O you sons of Adam. Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. And when we was flesh, you know, our mud molded, we wasn't, we wasn't alive. We wasn't living. We was only living when God breathed his spirit into us. So we are spiritual. Not pretending to be spiritual and trying to get an understanding of what the spirit is all about. And just going by our emotions, feelings, and instincts, thinking that's spirit. That's what Gentiles do. James 2, 26, this is the Gentile, for as the body without the spirit is dead, and that's why they said Christ is the firstborn of the dead, and you are the dead in Christ. We are dead with Christ. You know, Christ crucified was preached unto the Gentiles, right? It's falsehood. Because God already told you what? You had a season and then you're going to be destroyed and go down to the pit. Unless you can what? Bless. Bow down, submit. Take your natural role as beneath mankind. It's like a, a chicken saying he above you. Just because it could talk. Galatians 4.29. And then pretty soon that chicken going to be on the dinner plate, right? But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit even so is now so who was born after flesh persecuting him that's born of the spirit gentiles they shall what trot israel down for 40 and two months ephesians 2 11 satan and his children therefore remember that formerly you you gentiles in the flesh what are they in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by the so-called circumcision, by them just putting so-called in there, they still dissing you. Yeah, you guys ain't shit. You know what I mean? They have a problem because you have the spirit and they persecuting you because you have the spirit of God breathing to you and they don't. Because you were given a blessing and they was not. And God does what God wills. We have nothing to do with it. We just going through it with y'all. 1 Corinthians 15, 15. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Y'all ain't getting in. You know, unless you do it through the blessing. Unless you come through Israel. And then let's go back up to that, man, so we can look at that again. I will bless them that bless you and curse them that curse you and in you so all the Gentile nations of the earth be blessed. That's the families of the earth and the ones that's under Satan's shadow. You got to come out from under Satan's shadow to be blessed. You know, you got to stop looking for this blessed fake ass Jesus hope and get the blessing the way that God wanted you to get it. Submit to mankind. Romans 8, 8. And, and this right here is, is, is just a lie. There should not be no Romans in the Hebrew Bible. So then they, that they that are the flesh cannot please God. They can't please God. I hated Esau. You know, Cain, your offering is not accepted. You are the flesh. And what did, what did he do? He was a murderer from the beginning. Him and his daddy murdered what? Uh, Abel why did it say he murdered Abel because Abel was righteous and he was not he was just a beast first Timothy 3 16 and without great without controversy controversy great is the mystery of godliness God was manifest in the flesh really they that are in the flesh cannot please God what God are you talking about is manifest in the flesh you mean the Gentiles clothed with flesh Pretending to be God. You mean Lucifer? 
They're not talking about God. When God said he going to fly past this mountain or come down, the mountains and the earth shake at his presence. Heaven and earth shake the closer God gets to it. And earth is shaking and shaking more and more because God is getting closer and closer. Right? If God came in the flesh, the flesh would blow up. It wouldn't, it can't even handle God. Heavens and earth cannot contain God. This is just a filthy, damn Gentile lie. They are deceivers. Justified in the spirit. Why would God have to be justified by the spirit that he created? Seeing the angels, what do you mean? He created the angels. Preached unto the Gentiles that lie. Believed on in the world, but God hated the world, and received up into glory. The Gentiles are, are, are considered the world. Ephesians 2.12, that at the time you were without Christ, when Christ didn't come in the flesh, which ain't nothing but Satan, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, being aliens from the men, and strangers from the covenants of promise, you wasn't given the covenant, you wasn't given the everlasting salvation or the everlasting love or the, you know, you wasn't given it or the everlasting covenant. Having no hope, people. The Gentiles was what? Aliens, strangers, no covenant, no promise, having no hope. And without God in the world, what God? They keep saying a voice from heaven is Satan. A voice in heaven says, Thou art my beloved son. What is it? Uh, Satan and Lucifer? Father and son, the first begotten of the damned dead. First Thessalonians 5 a. But let us who are of the day be sober. And they ain't of the day. Unless they sun worshippers. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love. And for a helmet, the hope of salvation the hope of salvation that's the gentile because what this was preached unto the gentiles right preached unto the gentiles what this hope right but we had an everlasting salvation it don't go away we were blessed so we don't need the hope acts 4 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there is none under the name of under heaven given unto men whereby we must be saved whose name is that they saying that's christ watch them contradict yourself so. because they saying they hoping for salvation now they saying the name of christ is going to save them now he's saying this first timothy uh one number one paul an apostle of jesus christ by the commandment of god our savior there is no other name that we must be saved besides jesus god our savior jesus god our savior and additional lord jesus christ which is our hope the hope of salvation you don't have to hope for salvation when you have an everlasting it's telling us we two different creatures two different species god is treating us differently he's going to treat you different from how he treats the ant <laughs> you know are you trying to say we're ants reproduce no, I ain't. Titus uh, 2, 13. Looking for that blessed hope. And that's the name of it. Why are you looking for a blessed hope? When you already got a definite and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now he's God and Savior. All right? First, God is the Savior and, and Christ is the hope. First, we're looking for the hope. Now he's the hope, the God, and the Savior. Why are they looking for a blessed hope? You know, at the time after Christ. Because they're some hard-headed fuckers. And I'll just say it just like that. Again, I will bless them that bless you. But you the hope. No, the nigger is not the hope. A nigger is the nigger. He's just a filthy nigger. He's not the hope. No, he is the hope, dumbass. And all the people who receive the revelation is what you call filthy niggers. Yeah. And I just talk 
blunt. I can say filthy niggas all night, but if I say crack or anything like that, now I have crossed the line, huh? Now I'm some kind of biggest racist, but if I say nigger or nigger or nigger, niggets or whatever, oh, uh, that's all right. Any black on black crime is all right, but we know that y'all gonna end up killing each other. Galatians 3, 14. That the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. <laughs> See, they want that. They want what we have. What's the blessings of Abraham? Same as the blessings of Adam and Eve. We was blessed from the jump. It don't have to be Abraham. It was Moses. All of us are blessed. Type in blessing and the prophets all are going to pop up. Israel is going to pop up every time it says blessings. That it might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Is that what God said? They're always trying to make some new covenant and some new deal. They want to uh, make God come to their terms. They tried to probably make God come to their terms when their dominion was taken and they revolted. That we might receive the promise. We might, we might, we hoping. When all they have to do is do what? Bow down to mankind. Take their lowly position as beneath us. Your dominion was taken. You are not in charge of shit. God is coming back to reset this shit and put you under captivity, slavery of us again. How is he going to do that? He is going to tear down your numbers. The Gentiles are going to fight each other. He is going to put demonic spirits on you. Evil is going to take care of evil itself. To receive the promise of the spirit through faith. You ain't getting it. They will never get it because they're idiots. Isaiah 38, 18. For the grave cannot praise thee. Death cannot celebrate thee. That go down into the pit. Cannot hope for the truth. Who goes down into the pit? We bless. We got everlasting salvation. It only leaves the beast of the field. The Gentile. The nations. Edom. Ezekiel 32, 29. There is Edom. There he is. Her kings. All her princes. Future tents. With which with their might, all the armies that God said he's going to destroy in Ezekiel 38, 22, are laid by them that were slain by the sword. I'm going to call for a sword for Esau throughout all my mountains. They shall lie with the uncircumcised, the flesh, and with them that go down to the pit. You cannot hope for the truth. Some of these Gentiles have us in them and they don't know. They just bred out from slavery. And then they stayed out, but they don't know that they us. They can, you know, like one of the clan members, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that. And they, they did a DNA and he found out he had us and he was hating niggas worse. He was just hating his own damn self. You know, he was just some damn um, Gentile that then bred out. Joel 3.16 The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. How can he come in the flesh when he gets close to the heavens? And, you know, when he gets close to heavens and earth, and heaven and earth is going to shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. He will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, not the Gentile whom he's going to destroy. You better be with us. You better be with us. So again, we went through the whole thing to tell you what is the problem. The problem is God created man. Y'all was all fine in the field. Y'all had great nations and y'all was by the waters and everything. Was, and all of the young was being born. And it was just a fabulous little white little town. And then God created mankind. The black man. Y'all was pale. You know. And then basically uh, he gave us dominion over you. And y'all revolted from under that dominion. And until this day, you still revolting. And he says, they're going to come to you. The synagogue of Satan, all of them. And they're going to bow unto you. Right? They're going to bow. Okay. Um, let's wrap the news.